This is a triangle. That's a triangle. This is Cobra Triangle. Let's do it. Let's first take a moment to appreciate this kick-ass theme music. Albeit a very niche sport for the well-off, competitive boating is a sport nonetheless. Better yet, Cobra Triangle is described as a boat racing vehicular combat video game. Developed in 1989 by Rare and released by Nintendo for the Nintendo Entertainment System, the player controls a weapons-equipped speedboat through 25 stages. Objectives include winning races, saving swimmers, destroying monsters, and defusing bombs. The 25 total game stages alternate between 8 different stage types that increase in difficulty as you progress. The first stage is Race to the Finish, which plays just as it sounds. You sprint to the finish and race against the clock, blowing up other boats and collecting power-ups and points along the way. Since this is an arcade-style game, it's big on points. Unfortunately, the high scores reset every time you turn off the console, so if you do crack the leaderboard, your achievement is fleeting. In the Dispose of Mines stages, you steal mines and wind through enemy cannon fire, while other boats give chase. It's a full throttle, aquatic, hurt locker on a boat, without the obligatory confusion of if it's the red wire or the green wire that needs to be cut. The boat in the game, with its impressive selection of weapons and missiles, reminds me of the Cobra Hydrofoil, also called the Moray. The Hydrofoil was one of my favorite toys as a kid, and it was first released in the U.S. toy stores in 1985. It was sold through 1986 and eventually discontinued in 1987. In the stage titled Reach the Finish, you maneuver around hazards blocking your path to the finish line. Hazards include whirlpools, fighter planes, and logs. True story, while logs in a river might sound odd to some, I grew up outside a once thriving logging city, where it was not uncommon to move logs down a river. You see, the riverbanks were lined with mills, and the wood harvested north of the city would be dumped into the river, and then, during the annual spring river drive, sent down the river to the mills. Each year, hundreds of thousands of cords of wood were shipped this way. In fact, there were so many logs in a river, you couldn't throw in a line to fish. To find out more about logs, please visit your local woods. The stages titled Guard the People are where you're the only defense between helpless children bobbing in the water and a barrage of child abducting creeps and catamarans, who try to kidnap every last one of them, scuttling them away to caves where I can only assume they're sold into child slavery via the black market. I mean, what else could be going on here? At a minimum, you need to save at least one kid to advance to the next stage. Each kid you do save increases your point totals, while the ones who are not saved end up on the back of a milk carton. The first Fry the Monster stage features a giant sea serpent like the one pictured on the box and on the game's label. Later level versions of the monster include a giant crab, giant squid, red sea serpent, and giant shark. Each level is chocked full of boat racing, child rescuing, log dodging fun. 
That is, until you reach the stage titled Jump the Waterfall. Even though your boat doubles as a helicopter, you're for some reason compelled to jump a series of waterfalls. If you're anything like me, be prepared to piss through most of your lives and continues. The wily e. coyote dust plume when you fall off the waterfall is just salt in the wounds. For me, the waterfall stages are where the game grinds to a halt, which is too bad considering there are only two waterfall stages out of the 25 total. And now to review. Cobra Triangle is an interesting name for an arcade-style boat racing game. I guess maybe it was originally inspired by the Bermuda Triangle, but I can't help but point out the obvious sexually charged nature of pairing a phallic symbol like a serpent, or cobra in this case, with the opposite sexually charged symbolism of a triangle shape. Then there's the boat, constantly sailing upstream against the current while being blitzed by a barrage of obstacles, which is a not-so-subtle nod to the virility of life and journey to fertilization. The adult-themed imagery conjured up of a cobra triangle, without context, can't help but allude to the sexual. Then again, maybe I've just been quarantining by myself way too long. Let's get back to the review. Cobra Triangle is a fun, edgier seat game that's worthy of playing. In fact, I dare say this game is very good, bordering on excellent, if not for the unnecessarily tricky waterfall stages. For those of you who do not suffer from Niagara Falls Syndrome, that are nimble of thumb and looking for an entertaining, under-the-radar game, I highly suggest Cobra Triangle for the NES.